This morning in Environment Matters, is road salt damaging the environment? A new study from the University of Maryland says it can, and the effects might be permanent. Our Matt Gregory looked into the study. He's at the Georgetown waterfront with what it means for the D.C. metro area. Matt, what'd you find out? Hey, good morning, Tony. Well, we know that when it comes to winter weather, right, road salt is a lifesaver for drivers, but this new study says that that same road salt, once it gets into the waterways along the DMV area, it can endanger, well, mostly all of the ecosystem there. After a winter storm, do you ever wonder where does all that salt go? Sujay Koshal did. When the snow melts, it funnels all that into the storm drain, and then you get this water that's uh, salty going out into the stream. Sujay researches water quality at the University of Maryland, and about 20 years ago, he began examining how that road salt builds up in waterways over time. He says it starts during a winter storm. You see a huge pulse in the um, in the salt when they apply it to the roads. How long is it? Oh, it can last for months. His research found salt can permanently damage marine life. Organisms have a limited capacity to regulate their cells with all these salts in the environment. And so they dry up and shrivel up, basically. And so it can affect aquatic life. But how do you measure how salt has affected these waterways? Sujay's latest study decided to look at that in four stages. First stage, you get, start to get peaks during winter in the salts. And it escalates from there. Stage two, salt builds in the environment. Stage three, the salt begins to affect the environment. And stage four, ecosystem collapse. So what stage are our rivers and streams in? Stage three, which is uh, where we start mobilizing harmful cocktails. Excess salt that goes into drinking water systems, it can strip off copper and metals from pipes, contaminating home drinking water supplies. He says the situation isn't dire yet, but he warns something needs to be done before the road salt used to curb winter hazards becomes a water hazard. Yeah, and so I reached out to uh, the D.C. Department of Public Works, Virginia Department of Transportation, and the Maryland State Highway Administration to see if they're planning at all to change how they administer road salt you know, during those winter months. Now, D.C. and Virginia did not get back to me, but Maryland did, and they said that every year they make a, a greater attempt to limit the amount of road salt they used. In fact, as an example, they said five years ago, they used about 800 pounds of road salt per lane mile when they were doing their de-icing. But in the last five years since then, they've averaged it to about 500. So I know that those numbers can seem a little specious, a little out there, but it looks like at least when we talk to the Maryland State uh, Department of Transportation, Maryland State Highway Administration, they are attempting every year to limit how much salt they use. At the Georgetown Waterfront, I'm Matt Gregory. Back to you.